Hey everybody, um, for those who are interested and came back for part two of shop tickets, I'm going to make an attempt on trying to clarify and make it as clear as I can, but it's not that easy to demonstrate something that's a visual. So let me start by saying that I'm going to create a couple or a few scenarios downstairs with ductwork and, um, and then I am going to sketch what's required to connect the two ducts and I'm going to be talking about flat on top and flat on bottom scenarios but before I begin I'd like to make sure that we understand uh, something that I try to emphasize in my part one video is that the first dimension is going to be the side that you're looking at and the second dimension is the depth which you don't see and secondly, I'd like to uh, talk to you about some terms that you already know, but might get confused with how we use them in sheet metal. And here are a couple examples. If I take a cardboard box, we got four sides. You got a top and you got a bottom. If I take a house, I'm looking at a house plan. I got the front of the house. I got the back of the house. I have two sides, one left side and one right side. I have a top or a roof and I have a bottom, which is the floor. In sheet metal, we have a piece, a duct, but it only has four sides. There's four sides to most rectangular duct. Here's going through it, four sides. Now, you as the viewer right now looking at this picture, this piece is your top. The one opposite to it is the bottom. And it's gonna be like that for every fitting that I'm gonna talk about. So, watch this. If I turn this fitting this way, you are now looking at the top, and this is the bottom. And I can continue on. This would be the top, this would be the bottom. Confusing, can be, but stick with me and uh, I'll do my best to help you out understand FOB and FOT. Therefore, if you're ready to sketch out a few fittings or see me sketch out a few fittings, you're more than welcome to follow along. Let's get at her. This is gonna be the first scenario from five. I'm going to sketch the missing piece, which is going to be an offset. So grab a piece of paper and roughly sketch what an offset should look like. Then add the duct dimensions, 10 by 6 and 10 by 8. This offset is going to be 21 inches long and offsetting six inches. And you will notice the depth of the duct is six inches on the one end and eight inches on the other. But in this scenario, this offset is flat to the surface on the back side, so flat on bottom. Don't forget to add the connectors on each end. And here is your shop ticket that's ready to be sent to the shop. Second scenario, we have a 10 by 6 duct that is 6 inches away from the wall. And then we've got a 12 by 6 or 6 by 12. I'm going to draw this transition from this view. So right here I'm going to draw 6 to 10. This is a 6 by 12. First dimension is the side that you're looking at, 10 by 6. We want a 90 degree corner, meaning straight on one side. And let's make this 14 inches tall. Now, because we are 6 inches away from the wall, it's going to be a flat on top fitting, meaning the surface that you're looking at is the surface that's closest to you and it will be flat. 
third scenario, a 12 by 10 to 6 by 12, 18 inches tall. So start by drawing a trapezoid, something that's equally tapering. Put in the dimensions, 12 by 10 on the bottom, and 6 by 12. And in this scenario, the bottom duct, the 12 by 10 duct, was 2 inches away from the wall. Making this front piece flat. So, therefore, flat on top. Now, this is your final finished shop ticket. This scenario, we've got a 10 by 5 duct going to a 6 by 4 duct. I'm going to make a 90 degree elbow to connect these two ducts. One end is six by four, four inches deep. And this is 10 inch wide by five deep. I'm gonna add my SN drives for any type of connectors. Raw end on the other. And if required, specify the amount of throat you're gonna need. And this is flat on bottom because the back side or the bottom side was flat on the surface. Here, another flat surface is on the bottom. I'm going to make an offset for this one. A 10 by 5 to a 4 by 6 offset. Again, the back side or the bottom side is flat on the surface, so therefore it will be a FOB offset. I'm specifying my connectors. You're going to need to add how long you want this offset and how much it is offsetting. And in this case, you'll see that it's six inches. And because it's flat on the bottom, you write down FOB. This is your shop ticket, ready to be sent to the shop and arrive to the job site. And there you have it. This wraps up the video on flat on top and flat on bottom. I hope you were able to get something out of it. But keep in mind that uh, there's more than one way of doing any one of these things. And not too many are wrong. Therefore, if you have any comments that you could leave to help out someone else, feel free to do so. Um, like I said, there's always more than one way. Now, my next video that I plan on putting out there will be discussing top up, top down, bottom up, bottom down with a bunch of arrows. Therefore, thank you for watching and looking forward to some of your comments.